Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Thank you very much to watch my video again. And thank you for, to, for you to be a subscriber of my video weekly newsletter. Today I want to talk about second arabesque. There is a, a multiple position of the head associated to second arabesque. For example, if I have a first arabesque, there's very little you can do options with your head. However, second is different. So I have first and when I change my arm, leave the leg where it is, that's a second arabesque, okay? So here it is, the options. One, straight through. I don't prefer, it's specifically for things if the teacher wanted to have a PK arabesque head look in front or something like this, right? But most common is about the next two head positions I'm going to tell you. The first is tail back. So on the bar, it will look like this. This is the classic, most beautiful line of second arabesque. You almost, in, in Vaganova style, you almost have to think you are in the back bend. You are in a portal bra back. For me, just tell your head it's not enough. The head has to be involved, has to be coordinated with your upper back and your shoulder. That's the position. Your spine has to be in curvature and your sternum, your chest has to go toward the ceiling, not caving in but lift high up. So in Vaganova style positions, it's never just arm or just a head or just a shoulder, just never. It's always from head to toe, the total body integration. Every part of your body work together to create that beautiful position. Once again, it goes like that. Look at the audience, beautiful head, everything, and match with the line in the back. That's one option, my favorite. Second, it's also classic. You tilt forward like this. It's like this, forward or back. Both needs total body integration and involvement. For those positions to look right, most importantly, the dancers to feel right. They cannot feel awkward. None of the Vaganovas, uh, Portabra or Epromon should feel awkward because in her mind, how she created those arm positions, how she created those Epromon head and shoulder positions, the first thing is a talk about logic human feelings. Logical human feelings. So I, when I do this position, I cannot not feel love. I cannot not feel lovely. I cannot not feel beautiful and pretty. And same thing here, there's a sense of harmony in the position. So much more than just a head position or arm or leg, it's a feeling within to create to make those positions more vibrant. And, and for the viewer, have no question, when they look at this position, there's no question in their head, in their mind, what that position represents. It should not be anything awkward, uncomfortable, or, or anything kind of questionable. It has to be positive, harm, harmonious, and, um, and logical for people to feel when they see those positions, okay? Once again, forward and back. And come into fifth. And that's simple, as simple as that. Thank you very much. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.